Hello everybody, welcome. This is Budridge. In this video, Alex appearance gets replaced. By the way. All right. Um, so this is a follow-up video here to a video I released like a week ago, uh, which um, uh, got great uh, uh, responses here and people seem to, to really appreciate that I highlighted uh, uh, Michael Muchianko's find here using uh, the XFCE4 um, XF settings daemon uh, thing uh, to be able to switch GTK themes on the fly. And I got a comment here uh, like yesterday uh, from someone who had issues when, when it worked perfectly for changing themes and stuff, but as soon as um, he used Alex Appearance, that didn't work to change font and icons and stuff anymore. And he needs to kill uh, the X settings daemon process uh, for Alex Appearance to work. So I took a look at this uh, to see what was going on, and I have great news. Uh, Alex Appearance. Sure, it is a great program that I have been using forever myself uh, to change themes and stuff, you know, because it's uh, really cool of the LX uh, DE uh, desktop environment uh, that they have created their uh, uh, different tools to work even without the desktop environment itself. And the same is also true for, for much of XFCE. And here, when we use this XF, uh, C settings daemon here, we install XFCE4 settings package from Pacman. And in this package is not only the X settings daemon, it's also um, XFCE's version of um, or equivalent of LX appearance. So in this video, we take a look at how that works and also uh, how to change fonts and stuff, uh, both with this. XFCE4 uh, appearance settings, but also from the command line. So, uh, and of course, if you haven't watched this video, this this video will be a bit confusing if you haven't watched this old one that I have on the screen here now. So I will link it in the show notes, whatever. Let's uh, open a new terminal here. Um, Here are a bunch of XFCE4 uh, executables. Uh, most of them, I believe, was installed with the XFCE4 uh, settings package. And one of these is called XFCE4 appearance settings here. And look at this. If you open that, you get this little window here um, where you can change themes. So just selecting a different theme here, and as you can see, it immediately uh, applied that theme to uh, Pale Moon here. And it works also for uh, like Thunar, or of course, Thunar is a bit special, you know. <laughs> there. When you have this list view, then it works immediately. And it works for both GTK2 and GTK3 uh, applications. Uh, let's take i3. Um, in here, you can also change icon themes. I don't have that many icon themes installed. I just have the Damadamas, some BOS icons here and the Advaita icon set here. But as you can see, if you look at the uh, um, Thunar window, you can see the icons are switched immediately here. And the same goes for font. You can just uh, set uh, a different font here if we wanted to. I know my font list here looks a bit weird, but whatever. There, I uh, added go mono regular uh, 16 size instead and it immediately applies you don't have to press an apply button or anything and you can preview it like this in in the windows i know th it looks a bit weird and it's my uh, font settings i really need to sit down a day and and try to to get a good font rendering on my system it, it kind of annoys me a bit and i like to use this fixed sys uh, here but this is how you can change icons, fonts, and, and I haven't really tested these settings, but I guess you can uh, apply these as well. Maybe this is some high DPI thing, whatever. So if you were just using LX Appearance, then I recommend using this XF settings, XFCE4 Appearance settings instead. 
it does more or less the same thing. One thing that's missing here though is uh, like you cannot change cursor here, which I know you can do in LX Appearance. But that function in LX Appearance still works. So changing uh, themes, icons, use this if you have to change mouse cursor, which is something that I don't think most people does uh, all day long, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, another program here, or god damn it. is um, this one, XFCE4 settings editor. It's also included in the XFCE4 settings package. Um, that is a program here that contains all these keys and, and uh, properties. Because remember when we change, changed the uh, uh, theme from the command line, we used, uh, what's it, xconf query god damn it xfconf yes there it is let's try to find the theme you can see i've been experimenting a bit with this um, so here i can set now theme from the command line to, now i did this stupid plan 9 theme it applies immediately and also of course i forgot to mention it's important that the the uh, X, uh, XF settings D process is running in the background for this to work. Which I thought it, well, it does. Um, okay, and here we change theme. Uh, and we do that by setting the P flag here with XConf query to the property uh, slash net slash theme name. And this property can be find here, found here in the XF settings uh, editor here. Here we can see that net theme name. So this is the property responsible for the theme. I haven't really tested this, maybe I can edit it here even. If I do that plan 9. Okay, yeah, it even works to, to edit this, uh, uh, these values and they apply. Um, and here we can also see that we have some more uh, settings here. For example, the font name and the monospace font name. If you want to change font, then, then you have to specify this property and then name uh, the font like this. Meaning, if we wanted to, to change font here to, for example, go mono, we do gtk font name. And gtk here, it is this here. So slash gtk slash font name then s to add a value and we add go mono and then specify the size also like this so this can be a bit this can be really helpful to open the settings editor to find out which uh, names you need to enter for for example the font you can even just copy this so you know and then you can create your own scripts and stuff. And this works for, for fonts and icons and themes and yeah, all the settings here and they will get applied immediately. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, and I think that's enough for this video. Let's change back here to i3. Yeah, I guess this is a quite convenient way to, to edit themes now. I know I, I bashed on this XF settings editor program a while back when I was doing the Thunar videos, but I think it feels like they have updated this program since the last time I visited it. Right, and then we got these weird XFCE settings, which I guess doesn't matter. They don't apply if you're not using XF C E no. weird names on all of these things. All right, so that's the video. I hope uh, that helped uh, Luis Jan here to to set his font correctly um, and figure out how to add it to Mondo and whatnot. Um, hopefully, uh, the new i3 release that was released like yesterday will be available uh, with Pac-Man soon, probably today, maybe tomorrow or something. 
as soon as it is I will test it and test the new features here uh, it looks uh, really exciting this feature list of this new release uh, and then I will make a video about that so that will probably be the next video uh, I also thought maybe we could make a video about this uh, uh, centered text uh, thing I, I had going here you know take a look at how, how, how I made this it's it, it's not difficult and it's uh, kind of a fun little project that we can do in in uh, 45 minutes or something here is actually that whole program so whatever have a great day everybody bye